If you're looking to make full gaze as realistic as possible, you need to fiddle with the settings a bit. So if we go there, we'll see the first thing to look at is quite simple, which is your weight. That's just you. Just you on your own, in the morning, on the scales. That's the first bit. The next bit is everything else. So generally speaking, that's your bike plus three or four kilos in metric, 10 pounds in imperial. So you need to add that on on top. So that's that's uh, your bike, drink bottles, spare tube, everything else, shoes, helmet, clothes, the whole lot. So get your weight right, then the ratio of on the flat up the hills is going to feel correct. The next thing that might be an issue for you is aerodynamic drag. Now there's a web address in front of you that takes you to a place where there's a great estimator for um, frontal area, which is what we use, which is CDA. Um, for an average size bike rider simulating riding on the hoods, not the drops, it's about 0.4 and for an av that same average size bike rider on a time trial bike it's about 0.25 but if you're a lot smaller than that and particularly aero it could be under 0.2 on a time trial bike and if you're a big guy particularly um, you might be up around about 0 0.5 0 0.6 and uh, we get people complain that full gas is too fast or too slow and usually that's to do with where someone's got the drag set so if you've got your weight right and you've done the aerodynamic drag representation and estimation and got that about okay, and, but everything just is that touch too quick or that touch too slow, then and only then would I suggest fiddling with the rolling resistance. Um, back that off and add that up a little bit. So the rolling resistance makes a difference everywhere. Drag makes a difference when, particularly when you're going fast, but a little bit everywhere. And weight makes a difference when you're going uphill. And they really those are the things to concentrate on and sort out and fiddle with a little bit. And even if they're not 100% right, if you leave them consistent, you're then going to see improvement through your season as you train. And obviously just update weight as you, know, as you get lighter or as you, as you get heavier, pop that in and change that. But the rest of them, try and leave them constant, then you get an idea of where you're at. Um, so if you've gone up a climb faster, it's because you've lost weight or produced more power, just like the real world. And that's how you use the settings.